All right, this is fun. It's been a little while since I've done a sunset or a sunrise, and I really enjoy doing them. Uh, those people who follow my work know that. And a little over a month ago, I think they're in about uh, up the street from the shop uh, on Main Street in Jaffrey, New Hampshire. We had this amazing sunset, and I went out and I took some photos. So we're at 23 Main Street, and up the road a little bit is a church that is now the Jaffrey Women's Club. And uh, the sun was setting over it, and it was just otherworldly. So I took a lot of photos, as those of you who know me know that most of the photos on my phone are probably clouds and sunsets. I just really enjoy them. And uh, what I decided to do here was a very idealized sunset. It's not directly from any photo. I created composite references to work off of, but the lighting in the photo, the lamp lighting is not something that I have seen, but in my heart I saw it, so that's what I made. And you know what? Art is about the creativity to create whatever it is you really want to see. And I love, love this building. I love watching the sun set over it. I have so many pictures of it. And I finally decided I needed one, and I needed a fun color scheme. So it's a very tall picture. I think it's 14 wide or there and about. So I'm an artist. I don't really pay much attention to numbers. It's more geometric shapes, and the panel I created was the right shape, so that's the one I chose. I also like doing tall pieces of art or very wide pieces. So I needed to do a tall piece that was not as technically involved as some of the pet portrait work or some of the uh, other elaborate pieces that you guys have seen in the last couple months, I needed something I'd kind of relax with. And I changed it so many times. I mean, I started out with an original idea, and it it's close to it, but not quite. You know, as with anything in life, you can overwork it, you can do weird things to it, and you can change your mind. And, you know, I think that's okay. I'm working with Old Holland Oil Paints, on a traditional birch surface. I really like the surfaces to be panels, specifically cradled panels. I just think they're the best. And so basically I choose those when I can. I'm going to be doing a canvas painting soon, which is rare for me, but every once in a while you got to break out of your comfort zone. So I figure I'd do a, every time we finished a session, we'll post a picture it's always funny to me when you're painting, there are so many people who'd be like, no, stop, that's it, it's finished. And uh, as an artist, it's never finished, you know. You could just keep adding and adding and adding, and uh, at some point you got to walk away. I paid a lot of attention to tonal value so I could have these tree branches, semi-silhouette in the front. Towards the top, there are going to be elements of light hitting those top branches, but I don't know if you can see that in the photo or the video. But if you're in the town of Jaffrey, it's sitting in the window right now, and uh, you can take a look for yourself. So, building layers and changing things, you guys know how this is, right? I did this painting with a lot of very small brushes because it required it. I could have just kept going and making detailed marks on the surface, but at a certain point, it it will become the entire painting just to have branches, and that's not what I was going for, so I had to rein that in, you know, as you do. I also really wanted this fog, this mist element. It wasn't really there that day, but it does show up from time to time, and it makes me happy. Here is the finished painting. We've got the close-up of the steeple and the trees and the clouds, all the dynamic shapes. There's a little bit of that light area on the tops of those branches. And, of course, down bottom we've got, you know, the mist and the sun coming through the trees just as it drops below the horizon. I wanted it to be peaceful and uh, kind of have almost a supernatural quality to it a little bit. I love winter. I love every season, but some sunsets in winter are just unrivaled, in my opinion. You don't have all the leaf material taking up space, and you can actually see the sky. And here is the whole piece. There we go.
Thanks for looking, and uh, looking forward to the next one.